Incoming transmission. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rebel Collectors. I'm Tony from Star Wars Sith, here with Ricky from Pop the Bounty Collector, who's in the back cave. What up, Ricky? Hey, I'm back, man. <laughs> I'm doing good, man. How you doing, bro? We got a uh, special late episode. I know a lot of people were uh, messaging like, hey, hey, where's the where's the episode? Hey. Damn, you're like a celebrity, bro. My bad. Holy no, that's on that's on you, bro. You you know, I'm just a, a guest on here. Yeah, right. This is on your channel. I'm not making money off this now that you're mo <laughs> fully monetized. I'm not like give me fifty percent of what you make off the thing. <laughs> you, you, you jerk. Hey, I'm not making that much money. Okay. Hey, I could get me a McDouble. Hey. More than zero dollars. But uh, any pickups since the the last episode? Well, I kind of showed it in the Ollie's video. That's how long it's been. But I did pick these up Ooh. at Ollie's, $9.99. I had to pause Damn. first to think if I had this. But yeah, it's crazy that this is $9.99 and uh, Ross is going to change it to $12.99. That's crazy. Well, I don't know if Ross is changing. The only one I've ever seen at $12.99 is that DIN. Every yeah. other Black Series is still $6.99. Oh, okay. Inc including that layer that you got. Well, at least my Ross don't have it at six ninety nine. I don't even have it at all. I had to pick this bad boy up. Nice, nice. And then this one's still in the bag because my dumbass didn't notice there was like a million of these, and I had to pick the one that had the cut on the box. Who cares? Who <laughs> you displaying it backwards? <laughs> You know, Diana said the same thing. <laughs> Diana, <laughs> Diana said the same thing. She's like, it's going to go on the wall. Yeah. So, like, nobody's going to see it. I don't know, just for me. But Oh, yeah. my God. You and, creep. And it's, and it's funny. Like, I saw this in Puerto Rico, uh -huh. which I still have to drop that video. I have, like, in the archives, a Puerto Rican uh, toy store that I, I filmed. Uh, oh. But I think, yeah. So, but this was, like. $35 in Puerto Rico. And I was like, dang, that's the first time I ever saw it. Yeah. I'm glad I did not purchase it because it's $9.99. So I got these. And then uh, something that is not Star Wars related, but I know you would like it. Oh, God. Um, Mario? This, no, no. This was a uh, magical season. So I had to pick this up. I don't know if you can see it. Nice, nice. So New York Mets uh, postseason from the, uh, and then I picked up this nice. Yo, that hat is fire. And then Damn. The, the Seven Line Army the website. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have, bro, they're, that, they're, that Seven Line Army store at City Field, fire, bro. Fire, all exclusive stuff, so. Yeah, I had to pick this bad boy up. So those were those are my pickups for the week. I'm actually after we filmed this, I'm going back to Ali's. So no. Oh, that's funny. Um, I hope uh, the link the Yankees lose tonight because the Yankees suck. But I'm gonna show my pickups. So now that I'm all of a sudden a card collector slash PSA collector, I got I got I won this on eBay. Full, won this on eBay? Yeah, auction like old school, like bid, bid, bid. Wow, four dollars and twenty six cents for this nineteen eighty nine uh, Back Ooh, to the Future card. Like, wow, bro, and love the movie. Yeah, four dollars, four dollars and twenty six cents. I won. It started at ninety nine cents, and I had a little bidding war in the last ten seconds with some scumbag kid, probably. But uh, I won. <laughs> well, actually, there were three cards. Somebody outbid me for the other two, but I made sure I won this one. Uh, and they were all dirt cheap. So I grabbed this. And then this one was uh, 30 bucks, but it's my favorite movie. PSA 10, Revenge of the Sith Ooh, movie card. i never seen that before. Yeah. Wow. So That's fire. I, I could get that same Zach card, but episode two poster, that would be. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look on uh, eBay, man. So I got this for 30 bucks, which is cheap. And then I'm working on two videos right now i was editing before and once we're done with this i'm gonna keep editing but i went to antique mall today i didn't buy nothing there but 
that video is like 40 minutes long. There's so much fire in there. But I went to Ollie's and I grabbed this Legend of Zelda Link's Ooh. Book of Adventure Games and Puzzles. I've never seen anything like this. And like, I just had to grab it, bro. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Dope little book, $2.99. I hit up the Ollie's and a Ross in Lakeland as well as the antique store. So I got a couple of videos coming out this week. Yo, so those. you hit the antique store. Yo, the antique stores are clutch. Like sometimes you'll find some like hidden gems there. Dude, there was new vendors in there. I swear to God, I almost went crazy. This one guy had tons of rare old TVC figures like fire. Like they, they had Slave Leia, but the, re the Revenge of the Jedi card, not the Return of the Jedi card, the revenge card. Ooh. Same dude had all four deleted scene figures: Luke, Leia, Lando, and the pilot dude. And Chris and, been protected. Yeah, they're no, they were all in star cases. All they were all in a glass case. You couldn't even touch them. So they, I almost bought a Revenge of the Sith Yoda. He had there. There was a ton of stuff, but I, I ended up not buying nothing because, like, I kind of wish the person was there, even though it's not like that there, because like. I would have bought three or four if I could have got a deal. deal. Yeah. So I'm waiting for this weekend because uh, the Florida Extravaganza Toy Show is cra is going to be nuts. I'm going to just wait and go ham there on Saturday for that show. Are you are you coming or are you going to be lazy? Uh, I got my son's football game. My, my uh, son plays every Saturday. Does he start? So, yeah. Huh? Does he start? Yeah. It's a uh, like, it, okay. it's a eight man team and they go in and out, in and out, in and out. So nice. My man almost almost had a touchdown as a quarterback what he just saw. That Damn. was right there in the corner. That was right there in the corner. And uh man, he I told him next time he gotta clap his hands. Like he was just like looking there and the quarterback's like looking in the middle. And I'm yeah. like, Yo, clap your hands. He was literally in the corner, nobody yeah. guarding him. I'm like, ah, oh, that would have been great. That that ESPN highlights. Uh, but yeah, because yeah, I know we talked about it and I was like, oh, perfect, because I'm not going to the Solar Bear game until like seven o'clock at night. So I just wake up in the morning, hit Wawa, get some gas and go straight over there to you. And then I got reminded, hey, it's Saturday. Doesn't Junior play? And I'm like, mm, true, true. Yeah, yeah. Because I believe where you're at, you get a lot of stuff compared to the Kissimmee event. Oh no, yeah. that that it and it's not it's just that particular show. I don't know what it is because yeah. I've been to other toy shows with different names and at the same spot, but this one is always like crazy. Yeah. It's always crazy. So I'm probably gonna go both days. I usually only do one day, but I think I'm gonna do both in case people sell out stuff and put out different stuff. Also, I'm gonna talk to a lot of the vendors there because I have like a ton of old Pokemon cards I want to mm -hmm. just clear out in bulk. So maybe I'll make a little bit there. And then I kind of want to clear out hot toys. So if I see anybody there that has a lot of hot toys, I'm going to be like, hey, are you buying by chance? And then I'll bring them the next day just to make space. So Saturday and Sunday is going to be wild at this toy show, man. I cannot wait. And and, I, and correct me if I'm wrong. That's the one that you got. Like this guy had a whole bunch of Unleashed. Unleashed. Yeah. And like yeah. I, as I was walking up, he was opening the box and unpacking them. He had six different ones i only bought three three of them um no he had more than six because i bought three he still had luke i think he had vader i think he had a, a trooper and another one he had a lot and he gave me a good deal man like it was crazy and that's that's what i like about the those events like if you're gonna buy more they'll work with you yep if you're just gonna buy one they're gonna say nah it's, it's 40 but just like even in icc in the lobby sale like I wanted a hundred for both unleashed figures. I said, "Yo, I give you seventy cash." He's like, "All right, you know? yeah." So those those work out. Dang, I can't wait to see those videos. I'm gonna be so just, and I'm gonna be mad. I know. You I just are. need to remember. I'm always back because I'm obviously thinking about birthdays, anniversaries, all this other stuff, and I keep on forgetting about marking that date. This is the second year in a row that I don't go. <laughs> you know what? Selfishly. Not that I'm glad, but like in a way, I'm, I'm like, because I was thinking about it yesterday. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go with Ricky. I just got to make sure I'm in front of him and I have to look quicker before he sees it because we're going to want the same stuff. Same so I, I got to be one step ahead of him. 
But you, like, you know I'm not going to do that. If it's Maul, it, come on, you're a Maul guy, I, which I would think the same if it's Darth Vader. You're going to give me Darth Vader. Yeah, maybe. But if it's a dollar, bro, I don't know. I don't know about <laughs> if it's a dollar. But yeah, even, you know, even though sometimes those things are not a value, I like the loose stuff. You know, at ICC, you saw me buying those loose, tall, 14-inch. Yeah, you know, they, yeah, they, yeah. Sometimes they have buckets of that stuff. And if it's episode two, shit. I might be leaving with seven, eight stuff, but only really spend like a hundred dollars, you know? Yeah. Uh, but that's pretty dope. Did you um any other pickups or no? Nah, that's pretty much it. And it's funny that I'm like, so it's funny I'm clearing out those hot toys. One, because I want space, because that'll free up the detoff. And like two, it'll save me money. Cause then like, dude, we're about to get into some hot toys right now. And it's like, bro, I can't, I can't, because I there's there's so many. And you can't just buy one. Even no. you, look at you. Look, you you got bit. You're, there's what three in your case, four in your case, and you have more on pre order. Yeah, and then uh, the Darth Revan, they already started taking the sixty dollars out. All the time, so, uh, Darth Revan is shipping out earlier than what was originally expected. So this month, they already took out sixty dollars. So I did the. That's the cool thing I like about Sideshow. They do the pre plan, so I don't have to drop the two, three hundred dollars all at once. They take 60 here, 60 here. So I'm already started paying for that, but I can't wait for that co- to come in. Darth Revan with both lightsabers and they light up. Oh man. Yeah. So now, now that I'm gonna be free from from hot toys, I don't gotta worry about the rest of these. Like I canceled my bailing already. Shin, I didn't cancel yet. I I might. I'm not canceling that Anakin though, because that Anakin. To me, is more like a statue. The Vader with the damage. Oh, the big one. Oh, with the no. cape. Yeah, yeah, th- yeah, that in my mind, that's a statue because that cape mm-hmm. that doesn't move, bro. That's a statue. So like, that's yeah. That's, it's not a no. It's not a normal hot toy. Yeah, that's yeah. that's separate. But I'm gonna retire. But these next two, I want so bad, so freaking bad. But I'm sleeping. So we got Savage. I'm Crash. surprised about this that you you're not getting this, bro. You Dude. love Savage, bro. I I do, but then it's like then I gotta buy the palps, then I gotta make a crazy display with them fighting. It, it's you can't just buy this and not buy that Clone Wars palps. You, well, you, you have can to sell the them. ones that you have because you already got the mall. I do got the mall, and then you get Savage. Yeah, so then I gotta get palps. That's another six hundred I gotta blow. But yo, mm-hmm. this Savage, I haven't pre-ordered it. I'm I'm one of those that uh, I already I got already got enough pre-orders. <laughs> But if I see this, like once it comes out in a comic book shop, I might, I might, I have to get this because look at the the, the head sculpt is just amazing. I think it's two. It comes with two heads, right? Two heads, two arms. Look, a robotic arm for when he lost his arm. arm, Yeah, and and a regular arm. The amount of accessories and like you're gonna see the size of it too. Like it's big. It's big. It's it's it has a display next to the Clone Wars mall that I have, and that's how it is in the show. Yep. Like he's he was massive in the show. He was a monster. Mm. So this is amazing. Like sh- shout out to Hot Toys. Like this is great. And it's like, damn, man, why couldn't we get this in live action, bro? Are you kidding me? Yeah, because I'm getting the episode one mall with the Sif speeder. So it's damn, not really you're gonna rich. Go with that. You're it's not rich. really gonna look. Oh, I had to, man. Episode one, just even though it's not my favorite, I think low key in my heart it is. Cause it it sparked it sparked my Star Wars love. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. This right here, I have. I, I'm I'm keeping it in the back of my mind, but I have to get this Savage, bro. Savage is just. I don't care about you know. I like Pops, so I know you said that you would need to get Pops for me. I don't need Dude, to get Pops. Yeah, you I know. Have to. If you don't get it, you're fake, bro. <laughs> you don't even watch the Clone Wars. <laughs> Do you Come even on, know what the Clone Wars. Is? <laughs> Oh man, but freaking Savage, bro! God, you remember that guy in um, Anaheim? That he that did against like Savage. Him. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. All big. I'm like, bro. Yeah. So this was sick, and then this dropped today. This is new, right? Chopper. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, ah, oh, bro. I, I, I how much? I, wait, you how you much gotta wait? get this one though, bro. But look, yo, two forty five. That's like the size of a regular figure. The price of a regular figure. That's too much, man. Hey, he's not. He's not a chopper fan, guys. 
bro, I have every version of Chopper right here. Can you even do that? Black Series. I got this one. Wait, there's more. There's more Choppers. He's everywhere. <laughs> so I just love how you have loose figures just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, come on. 3PO, like who doesn't have 3PO right right in hand's reach? Like, bro, George? George is always with me. George and, is always with you. And George we trust, but... Yo, what's um, going on over here, man? Yeah, the sirens they're, in the background over here? Yeah, they found out you're not going to buy Palpatine and you're going to get <laughs> Savage. They're coming <laughs> to get your ass. You get arrested, you fake star. Nah, but this chopper, oh, that's another one. I'm telling you, the year has not ended. What is going on over here, folks? I'm sorry if you're hearing it. I don't live in the ghetto. Um, they just, I don't know. They're in another one. Uh, but, I mean, Hot Toys right now, I don't know. And you know more than me. Have Hot Toys always been this lit? Uh, No, they've been more aggressive, I'd say. But, like, dude, they, they say this, and it takes forever to come out. So it doesn't matter. Like, we mm. still haven't gotten nothing we've talked about eight months ago on, on, on this podcast. <laughs> like, so, yeah. That's yeah. True. Because, like, episode two, Anakin and Padme dropped like two, three months ago, and that was like a long time ago. Yeah, even before we did a podcast. So yeah. yeah, so this ain't. But this could be a no. It's not going to be available for a celebration. What will be a cel av available a celebration? I, I wonder. Know. No one, no one knows. We'll see when we pull up. Now, if nah, because I wouldn't even buy this if if like celebration had this in stock. No, because I wouldn't want to have to lug it back if I could just order it. Yeah, true. It has to be something exclusive in order for me to because right now we know when we come back, everything is like a purpose. The space in our luggage is like so it would have to be something that you could only get at Star Wars Celebration Japan in order for me to come back home. Like you said, if you could pre order it, you could wait for it, you could get it back home, then what's the point? You ready to have a heart attack? Yeah. So there's a new set that drops this Friday, right? I made a video about it. It's, yes, the, Gal it's the Galaxy set, the 2024, right? So, like, we got more info on it. So, like, here's 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 some of the cards, right? So, yeah. like, yo, that Anakin Vader card, bro, that's probably, like, a common card. That'll be easy to get. Like, but imagine that signed by Hayden in a red pen and then having that graded. Like, Mark Hamill autograph card. Harrison Ford autograph card. That one right there. Harrison Ford signed card is crazy. That Yoda in the middle, that card's a one of one. So only one person in the world is going to have that. Like, it's literally one of one. So there's cool stuff like that. But the autographs is where I had a heart attack the other day. So this just updated a few days ago. And there's a checklist, right? So I'm like, let's, let's see what's on the checklist. And it shows everything in the... Uh, all the cards. So here's all the base cards, yada, 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 whatever, whatever. Here's some art cards, Art of the Sith, Art of the Boo. There's some anniversary Phantom Menace cards. Cool. Ooh. Bro, wait till we get to the autograph. So we get, there's a bunch of other like fancy weird cards, art, shadow, whatever that crap means. There's, there's, I think five 101s, like that Yoda, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, Dooku, and Vader, which is Vader cool. And Dooku. Wow. But where it gets crazy, there's single autograph cards, but don't even, well, we'll come back to that, right? There's dual, which, oh, cool. There's two autographs on one card. There's triple, but bro, l there's quad autograph. This one in particular, I saw this and I said, holy shit. Are you kidding me? Look at these four autographs on a card. Read that out loud, Ricky. On one Samuel card. L. Jackson, Ewan McGregor, Hayden Christensen, and Natalie Portman. A Holy one... crap, bro. So imagine I order some boxes and I open it live and I pull that card. You know how crazy that card is? Because Natalie and Sam don't do cons. It's, no. it's, it's very rare or impossible to get their autographs. Hewan and Hayden, all day you could get it. But those other two and all four on one oh, card. card, dude. That what? means they all touch that card too, bro. Yeah, they all sign that card. I saw that. Now, there's tons of other cool ones, right? There's a triple autograph. Uh, This one 
is you and Sam and Hayden. Wow. Yeah, that's another rare gem. But there's a, there's a lot of dope combos. Like there's like this one is Hera, Ahsoka, and Sabine. Down here you got Ahsoka, yeah, Lars, Lars, Sabine, and Enoch. Here you got Shin, Lars, Enoch, and Morgan Elsbeth. So there's a bunch of cool for these combo ones. Like even with the duel, you got Lars and uh, Enoch. You got the actually Rosario and uh, Ariana. Ariana. Wow, little, yeah, little, little, wow. Both Ahsoka's on one card. That's kind of dope. This one's kind of cool too. Oscar Isaac and Daisy Ridley. Really? That's that's kind of rare as well. And oh, there's this fuck. There's a single. I didn't. I didn't catch this. So there is. Oh no. Oh, the, oh yeah. There's a single Samuel L. Jackson card, auto. And then there's a Ray 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 uh, Park. Ray Ooh. Park, nice. Sarah Michelle Geller, B- Buffy, aka the Seventh Sister. That's sick. Single. And then a single card. Natalie Portman. Oh my God, I would. Die. Oh, so is there? How do you how do you get these? Uh, how do you sure that you get an autograph, dude? You have to buy I, the big pack, right? I do not know. I so I believe. You have to buy. I, I think every hobby box comes with an autograph. I believe that's how it works, or it's every case comes with an autograph. I forgot. I'm not 100% sure how it works because mm. I think this line's a little different. So it's either every hobby box comes with it because I know the regular Star Wars Chrome is like that, but this one might be different. So it's either with this, you get an auto in the box. It's 200, which is nuts. But if you pull an auto like that, it's worth it. Or it might be you have to have in every case. So out of 12 boxes, there's an auto. So that would mean one. you have a 1 in 12 chance of pulling an auto if you buy one box out of the eight. And this is coming out when? This drops Friday, Friday, November 1st at noon. I think it's like two hobby boxes per person. It, like they limit it, and literally, it's it's gonna sell out. Like I'm gonna make sure I'm home on my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna try for two hobby boxes, and I'm gonna hope I get through and hope I pull an auto. So if okay, so like now for the people that can't get it online, I know <laughs> you have gone to Target. You have tried to check the card section. I watched your videos. Where else? I think we Nowhere. you had talked about Coliseum Comics. No, you have to go. You'll have to pay a resell. So there's already card websites that are, are selling the boxes for two eighty to three hundred. So if you don't get it for retail, you'll be lucky if you get the box for two eighty or three hundred afterwards. Um, yeah, like you won't find this in stores. Like you don't f- find it in stores, man. It's cr- unless it's like a a card store that gets that bought a case of this and then they're, they're going to put them on display, but that's rare nowadays. And then they, they might even re uh, reprice it up a little bit because they have, they're, they're not going to sell it at retail. The only people going to sell it at retail is the website. Yeah. They could do whatever they want, man. Yeah. But like, dang, this is crazy, bro. Yo, is Tony going to get me into cards, bro? Hey, I, I kind of want, like, I want that excitement. You know, the card, I'm pretty sure there's going to be dope cards in there. I mean, we already saw the anniversary of uh, episode one that's going to be on there. So that's going to be dope. That card right there with yeah. Qui-Gon and Darth Maul. So if I pull that, that, that's fire, bro. Yeah, no, all these are probably like common. So th- there's going to be a ton of fire cards in there. And then eventually send them off, get them graded. Get graded. Yeah. And then they also do like numbered cards. So there's cards that are like one of one, one of ten. One of 25, one of 75, one of 99, I think one of 150 sometimes, one of 199. So, like, you can still get rare exclusive cards. Like, I was watching uh, my boy stream, and he opened a box of 2023 um, Galaxy, and he pulled a, a one of 25 Ahsoka orange label card that probably is probably worth like three or four hundred bucks because it's a wow. one of 25. And the value goes up if it gets graded. If you get a PSA 10, the value goes up. So, like, there is opportunity, like, you know, with other cards. But, like, bro, imagine I open and get a Harrison Ford auto. Like, how sick is that? The the just the chance to get that 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 it's possible that in my box 
There could be uh, Billy D. Williams auto. Bro, that um, would be fire. I got Amel- that. Amelia Clark, like, bro, Hayden Harrison, Ian McDermott, like, bro, Lars, Mark Hamill. There's bro, a lot of people, bro. Not gonna lie, if I, if I, God, I, let me not even joke about it because, like, I'll get punished and pull that on a stream. <laughs> what? Look what's highlighted. Dude, I imagine like, oh my god, but you had two Reva autographs in both boxes. That's physically impossible, but you did it, Tony. <laughs> oh yay, my favorite. Oh, you, you get Diego Luna from Andor. Uh oh, I don't mind Diego. I don't mind oh, him. Oh, oh, yeah, bro, he's name, the man, bro. The, the lady's name that, that you don't like. Oh, Deja? Yeah. <laughs> you put her card. Is she, is she does she even have an autograph card? Oh, she does. Deidre Miro. Yeah. Oh, my People God. Heard People no, heard Reva. I, I could care less. Bro, I'll grade it. PSA 10, right to eBay, baby. Let's go. They have a fan somewhere. Uh, and those 2023 cards, are they hard to find, the boxes? <laughs> Damn, bro. Three, three, how, three, three how, long, how long have they been doing this? Forever. Like, since one bro, year. Do you know every... Bro. Do you know every year at Celebration, Tops booth has an exclusive set? So we've missed four Celebrations worth of exclusives. Yeah. So the one in London was, it's weird though. It's a, bro, it sounds crazy, but the cards are like, they're rare and they're numbered and all that stuff. But the one in London, it was, every day was a different sequel or whatever. And it was a hundred bucks for one box and the box came with one pack. That's it. But it, it was guaranteed an exclusive and a hit in there, Ooh. and it sold out. Yeah, yeah. So like you guaranteed a like a numbered card, a rare card, a this or that. But oh my, yeah. God. So in Japan, literally the first booth I'm going to is Tops right away to get whatever the one of the exclusive every day. It's bad, man. Yeah, just I, I like the autograph cards. It brings me back to um, jerseys. I, back then when uh, we collect basketball, football, baseball, just a piece of that person's jersey on the card and you pull that out, bro, that was like yeah. fire. And, yeah. then, and, then, and then they started doing jerseys with the actual autograph on there. And I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. Man, wow. Yeah, so I, I guess they, they dropped two different set a year, I guess. So the last one was just a regular Chrome Star Wars set, the Ahsoka one that I got. And I just happened to get lucky and catch that when it came out. And I bought two little boxes, but I should have bought a hobby box because on those hobby boxes, it says one autograph per box. Now, we don't Mm. have we don't have a picture of what this box says, but I know the 2023 Galaxy boxes don't say one autograph per box. So I think Galaxy is a little bit more rare for the autos and maybe the regular ones. It's one per hobby box. I don't know. We'll see Friday when we get pictures of the actual box. So you said they come out twice a year. I guess. I I, I guess because I just the only ones that I've seen for this year was that Ahsoka one that was a what a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. And now I just happened to Google, is there a Galaxy 2024 set? And then I saw it drops November 1st. So I'm assuming it's twice a year for Star Wars. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. So it's not like this is not like something where you could go nuts like like Funko mm. or Hot Toys or Hasbro because they're everywhere and you have a lot of options. No. After this drops at noon on Friday, once that shit's gone, you'd have to pay resale. And I'm not trying to pay 300 a box for a chance to get nothing, you know? Nothing, yeah. But then that's what people would be doing. Like, you know, you go on. I, I, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not a card collector anymore. Uh, I say that now. Let's see, Ricky, twenty twenty five. Um, but I'm not a card collector anymore. But just watching those videos, people buy rare Pokemon cases, and they're like, "Yo, we're oh, gonna yeah, unbox yeah, yeah, yeah. them live." And I'm like, "I'm intrigued. I want to see what you pull. Do you pull a Charizard? I, I'm just gonna watch." Dude, so. I gotta, I gotta say, if I ever win the lotto, um, the first thing I'm, I'm gonna buy is a first edition base set Pokemon box. I think they're like 50,000. It's like something ridiculous, but I'm going to buy that and open every single pack and it's going to be the best, <laughs> the best thing ever. But um, 
I'm going to, let me show you, I'm going to show you this video real quick. So this, let me share it this way. This dude got a set from over there, right? So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, cause I thought it was nuts, like a hundred bucks for one pack, but I guess like, that's just how it is. So, uh, this is volume one. So volume one was OT. I think volume two was prequel. Volume three was sequel and volume four was maybe like Mandoverse, right? So this is, this is what we missed, bro. We walked by that tops booth in London every day. I stood there during the Japan announcement. I was like right there by the tops booth. I remember that, but this was the box. It was a hundred, right? And when you open it up also, that's, some of the the cards you could get in there like so you're guaranteed one of these a one of 299 a 101 50 plus like a few other cards right and obviously if you get a sketch or a 101 like that's big money right so when you open it up right you take the plastic off love it star wars celebration love yeah, it. yeah 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 and i thought this was like a box full of packs or something Dude, watch when he opens this. I'm like, what? I was so shocked. But like, this is a whole new world to me. It's everything is new. I'm learning. I mean, I mean, is he in my room? Because look at all those Funko Pops. All right. So the box opens up. Oh, that's pretty dope. And it's one pack. And I was like, yo, what? There's 10 cards in there. <laughs> one pack. <laughs> I mean, the presentation is beautiful, but like... I I and thought it was weird. Too. <laughs> I thought it was weird, but literally it's like there's 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 dope stuff in there. So he opens it up. And I love how it has a celebration logo pretty much on all the cards. Right? Damn. So so look at that. That's numbered out of 299 for that particular version of Han with that border or whatever. You could see it. Is that, no, that's not the sketch, though. Is the sketch? No, sketches are one on one. So that one's just that's a common card there because there's no number. So like R two, like that's that's still a dope card. That's like a common Chewy right there. Common Yoda. I think is there is there two hits in there? And he got another hit that three mm. PO number four of one fifty. One fifty. That's pretty yeah. good. Right, the only one hundred fifty cards of those. That's dope. He got a common one of it. You got a Ooh. Vader, right? You got a Luke common. So I guess every pack comes with two numbered cards. So you get guaranteed two hits and eight common cards. I guess that's how it works for this celebration. I don't know if everyone's like that, but when I saw this, I'm like, yo, I need to watch more. So I think he also opens up. Yeah, this is volume four. So volume four. Might be Mandoverse. So, how many packs can you buy, bro? It's an exclusive one per person per day, like everything else. Yeah, man. So, same as the other one, except for it says volume four on it. There's the pack. He's gonna open it up. Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm doing this shit in Japan. If it's yeah, that exclusive, bro. And uh, yeah, so like that's why I'm budgeting even more money for this crap because like yeah, it's three days, three packs. I mean, th yeah, yeah, three hundred. Ooh, that's fire. Cat like, Bane, you know I mean? Boba, Boba, and like some of these cards would be fire just to get signed, man. Look, Ooh. numbered out of nice. one fifty, out of one fifty. Regular Ahsoka, Kaveth, Yoda, Grogu, <laughs> Moff. What's the other hit? Mando. Where's the other hit at? You're supposed to have one more. Oh, is it Ahsoka? The Ahsoka's a hit, isn't it? What is she? What number is she? She, oh, out of 299. Yeah, 299. Well, it looks like the same one, though. What do you mean the same one? Didn't he have Ahsoka already? Oh, yeah. So some of them come regular too. They all come regular, but if it's numbered, it has a different like color border, different refractor. Mm. So depending on the color, that means like the rarity of it. That's the whole thing with uh with those. 
Like, Shit, man, I'm gonna have to buy some gloves, bro. I don't want no fingerprints on there. I gotta send it to get ye- fucking. I'm actually ordering the gloves because my buddy that does it, he wears these black latex gloves. So I'm ordering it. So when I unbox mine, I'm yeah, gonna have those gloves. Smudge. Yeah, no oil, none of that stuff on there, bro. Damn, somebody opened up a Quagun. I wonder if that was uh numbered. What is what is this? Let's see. Open up a prequel trilogy. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a mall. So that's a regular one, but it's still fire. It's still fire, though. That's the thing. Oh, that's Ooh. sick. The eyes. Regular Qui-Gon, but it's fire. <laughs> Charge has number to me. Oh, no. That Ooh. Natalie is... Is the Grievous? Look at the Grievous. Oh, no. The, the, no the, that's the, that's the, the old Gendi. school. Oh, it's numbered. It's out numbered. of 99. Look at that. Out of 99. Uh, so you get that graded PSA 10? Bro, mm-hmm. you're chilling. And he got a regular one, too. Nice. Oh, but he should have one more hit. Yo, is it the Hayden? No. No, it's the Sam. Sam? The, the Sam was numbered. Out of 299. That face. Episode nice. 2. Yeah, so... Bro, Japan, and like for me, Nick doesn't care. So if I want to get two packs, two boxes each day, I could. And like we're going with so many people, not nobody cares about cards. We could literally have all of our friends. Go, go get me one real quick. Yeah, each them cash. Yeah, man. So, bro, and that that's gonna be an epic video too. Yeah, like opening it. Literally, you could like wait to the end or at the end of every video, like be sure to tune into, tune into the end. We're going to open this pack in the hotel room at the end of the video, every video. Plus my, so my boy's coming too, that he does this like crazy. So he is trying to buy a ton, like a crazy amount. So you got to buy those uh, hard protectors. Dude, I got him right. back to get greeted. Yeah, I, I got all. I have all that stuff, man. I've been ordering it all off Amazon, so I have it. So that way, when I make the video, I'm prepared. And then GameStop, you could bring PSA submissions to GameStop now. So I Ooh. literally can, if I say, if I pull like five or ten dope cards, I want to get graded. I could literally drive five minutes to GameStop, drop it off there, and they send it into PSA. That's dope. I did not know that. It just started. Yeah, it just started. So, but do you trust the GameStop employee? Yeah, let's do their job. Well, it's not that hard. <laughs> Come on, that's dope, man. Definitely. I mean, just for the thrill, and it's exclusive. But man, trying to get that box November first, I think I'm like five to two, bro. I'm gonna have to take a break at twelve o'clock. Yeah, I'm take. I work. I open, but I'm just gonna take my lunch at eleven forty-five. That way I'm home, Wi-Fi, bam, 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 two boxes, baby. Uh, so next, well, the last thing I got, MCM Comic Con in London, tons of reveals, right? Yeah, they did that last year, yeah. So Black Series uh, Luminara, Black Series Shock T, nice. Uh, there's a picture of it. There's a Tim from Boss Bounty right there. He was at the event, which is cool. There's uh Shock T, the actual figure. You could see it. Yo. Oh, 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 oh. This is a mu- look at him with the little like chicken thing or whatever. Yeah. I look bought at that him. Thing. Yeah, that's fire. And then you could take the the goggle that I like the goggles that he has on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this I this is this is bro. Hasbro, good job. Joe Good, Benai, but now make more of the pod racers because they're all weird aliens, mm-hmm. and then make some pod racer like three and three quarter pod racers, bro. That would be fire because Sobobo's pod racer is huge, yeah. But yeah, so- the shock T and Illuminari look good, bro. Like the robes, everything looks not it looks popping. There's yeah. the, the glam shots of it, it looks awesome, man. Look at all the poses. But there was more. They revealed the TVC, the pilot from Ahsoka. So oh, her, okay, okay. her E-Wing, I think it's called, is re- like Hasbro's releasing as an exclusive. So you could buy the pilot to throw her in there. So that's cool if you get that ship. 
Um, there was another. Oh yeah, so this is dope. Aura Sing. Imagine, mm. if, imagine if we had this at ICC. ICC, yes. Yeah, that's okay, really cool. That looks good. Phantom Menace card looks fire. Your boy Yord. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow Yord returned, and this Kenobi, which is very random with the goggles. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, when they posted it, I was like, why are they reposting it like it was new? And it is new. And then I'm like, super new. Did really come out with this? Yeah, there's, yeah, I know. I know. I know. And then, bro, Savage is taking, like, dude, they, these companies know something we don't know. It's like, so, <laughs> is Savage going to pop up in, like, something? You don't know. No, can he? Can he, can he come back in Ahsoka too? I mean, did no, we he, he he died in uh, what's his face? Uh, Papa didn't Palpatine kill him? Yeah, but they um, can't um, unless, resurrect him. Yeah, unless they resurrect him. Now, what would be nuts is if when we see Thrawn on Dathomir with all those Night Sisters, they resurrect both Maul and Savage and have them working for Thrawn. Thrawn, like, bro, that would be crazy. That would be nuts. It would never happen, but I would love it. It would make no sense, but I would love it. That would make... Okay, so I already like Ahsoka Season 1. If that was to happen, that just made uh, Season 2 even better. Yeah. Kind of like when Mando Season 1 was good, but Season 2 had Luke. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. And that then, um, where was it at? I guess this leaked. So we're getting a Kit Fisto Black Series because somebody has his hair. Mm -hmm. And uh, the clothes here is for Ezra Black Series on Peridia. So those are two future figures coming out, like for sure, from Hasbro. Oh, wow. A little sneak sneak. A little sneak sneak, yeah. It's kind of like when uh, people be dropping pictures of samples of sneakers. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But uh, and then uh, so this should be shipping soon. So I didn't get an email, but some people got an email saying to update your shipping inter information by November 18th. Because uh, so I'm guessing as of November 19th, they're going to start shipping out. So literally uh, Yak Face confirmed that there's 2,500 of them in the port right now in the U.S. <laughs> so they're waiting to get the rest in, the, you know, because it's about 20,000 more they're waiting on. And then they're going to ship them probably starting November 19th. So November 19th, it's in the States. It's going to sh start shipping out, which is sick. So maybe... Super jelly, bro. Super jelly. I'm going to be watching everybody's unboxing. I, I just want to see how big the freaking box is. Uh, but man, uh, if I was to get that right now, I still wouldn't know where the hell to put that. And I now that I'm in the living room, I think I would just like Diana would be like, Really, on the coffee table? <laughs> and I'd be like, huh? What are you going to do? Yeah, but that's yeah, part. that's pretty much, uh, I think that's pretty much everything for the most part. Um, anything else you got or you could think of? Uh no, I haven't really checked out any Legos. I, I feel like I've been uh way behind on Legos. Um been way behind on a lot of stuff, but now I'm coming back little by little, going to Ollie's. So you'll see more Ollie videos. Shout out to everybody out there, man. That that Ollie's videos that I dropped wasn't intended to be like uh the number one, but it actually reached my number one most views. And my whole YouTube video just going to Ollie's. But shout out to you guys. I appreciate the comment. A lot of people are saying thank you for letting us know. So I'll be going to Ollie's. I would definitely be streaming. Um, trying to finish uh Jedi Fallen Order. Uh hopefully <laughs> with, no, <laughs> with no, no mistakes. But shout outs to you guys that stay with me, even with no game audio. <laughs> And see what else. Do I have a pre-order coming in? Maybe. So there may be another unboxing coming pretty soon for the channel. What you got? Uh, Not much. Um, By the time this drops, my Antique Mall video should be out. And then after that, I'll be dropping the Ollie's and Ross video from Lakeland. And oh, I got to unbox this too. I, damn, I, gotta, I got so much today I got to do. Shout out to... Oh, yeah. Carrie. Yeah. Kariuma, they sent me a pair of uh, 
Luke Skywalker shoes that they have. They're like a skateboarding brand. And they did a collab with Star Wars, like an official. This is like an official, official, yeah, official Star Wars collab. So I'll be unboxing this soon. Damn, I forgot. I gotta do that today. Record that. So that'll be coming out soon. Friday night, five fifty-five p.m. Japan Celebration live stream, as always. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully, you get an announcement. We get Hopefully. some more. Yeah, man. Even even though we know. The majority of the people are gonna show up because they go to almost every celebration. Just announce it, bro. Yeah, Just announce it so we can get our plaques ready. Come on. Exactly. But all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode of Rebel Collectors. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Peace.